Hello and welcome back to Star Trek The Next Generation, A Final Unity. When we last left off, we were heading off to Horst 3 to talk to the archaeologist Shaynok. Uh, of course, we've got ages to go before we get there. 20 Counselor, light years. do you have any thoughts? I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't have any suggestions right now. Okay. Data? Mr. Data, any suggestions? I suggest we contact Starfleet, Captain. You're going to always say that, and they're always going to have nothing really to say. Oh, that would have been nice for me to realize I can actually, you know, click on that to head to places. Let's see. Well, we've talked to some other people. Maybe Lucanda has Thank something you new to say? Thank you for to talk to Shane, not Captain. No problem. Any suggestions, number one? Sorry, Captain, I don't have any suggestions right now. Great. Uh, Starfleet, do you have anything to say? Admiral Williams here. Uh, current orders? I'd like to of course. Starfleet Command is still considering the options. While... Yeah, okay. Yep. So, unfortunately, this game does have a lot of real-time elements, which is a bit annoying. Ah, we arrived at Horse 3. And we can contact Shenok. Yay. Greetings, Shenok. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Captain, how may I assist you? Well, let's see here. Well, let's get down to brass tacks. We have several Garudian refugees. Shaynok, we have several Garudian refugees aboard who are trying to find something called the Fifth Scroll. They said you might be able to help. Possibly. I once did extensive research on the Lawgiver and the followers. They fled into what is now Federation space a thousand years ago, bearing the Fifth Scroll with them. That's so. Okay. We've heard of them. So where did these followers go? I never found the followers' colony. But your friends should not lose hope. In my search, I stumbled on one of the followers' ancient ships. Not so. The logs indicated that they had found an M-class planet suitable for colonization. Of course. Let's see here. Yeah, what brings you here? What brings an archaeologist of your stature to such a remote planet? I am excavating the ruins of a Chodak outpost. The Federation Archaeological Survey is sponsoring my work. Oh, nice. Who are the Chodak? An ancient race. At their peak, the Chodak occupied most of what is now the Romulan Empire. Oh. But I thought all known Chodak ruins were on the other side of the neutral zone. This is the first Chodak site found in Federation space. It was my good fortune to discover it. Hmm, that almost sounds like pride from you, Mr. Vulcan Man. What have you found so far? See, Picard is really big into archaeology, so this is something he'd be really interested in. What have you found so far? A great deal, actually. I have uncovered evidence of an extensive administrative system, hmm. as well as examples of Chodak computer technology quite similar to our own isolinear rods. Well, that would kind of make sense, considering the Romulans are essentially Vulcans, although this is a different group. I'm wondering if it's going to be another splinter group of the Vulcans. Intriguing. Such devices would be among the oldest known examples of isolinear technology in the galaxy. Yeah. I hope to confirm that fact. I sent several rods to the Merton's orbital station for testing. Okay. They've developed a gravitic stress dating method which is extremely accurate. However, I have not yet received their results. We know all about the Mertons. <laughs> yeah. Bad news. I'm afraid we have got some bad news for you, Shaynok. Merton's station has been attacked. It was almost completely destroyed. Yeah. Indeed. That is a great loss. 
Well, Picard would definitely want to beam down. I'd be most eager to examine the site myself. I can beam down immediately. Yeah. Captain, I'm aware of your reputation as an archaeologist, but I cannot permit any visitors. The excavation is far too delicate. My apologies. Thank you for your help, Shane. Yep. Good luck. Guess not. And to you, Captain. Live long and prosper. Yep, the force be with you too. What are your orders, Captain? Let's see here. Well, we don't have anything to do. We could head to Ruinor, but uh Yeah, I guess we can head back to Ruinor. Set course for the Ruinor sector and resume our patrol along the neutral zone. Yes, sir. Engage. Zip. I wonder what these guys will have to say now that we've talked to people. The fifth scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. I urge you to help us find the scroll for science's sake. Yeah, yeah. Lucana? How long have we been the slaves of our patrician masters? We must find that fifth scroll to save my people from oppression. We need your help, Captain. On it. Please, Captain. In the name of justice for an oppressed people, we need you to help us find the fifth scroll and bring it back to Garrod. Will do. Pretty sure that's going to be one of our big, you know, plot lines. Any suggestions, number one? I'm sorry, Captain, I don't have any suggestions right now. Mm-hmm. Mr. Data, any suggestions? I suggest we... Of course. Not much to do. Well, since we're meandering, let's head to the holodeck. Okay, this allows us to see any of the um, uh, full motion video uh, sequences. Let's see how they're doing in uh, engineering. So, looks like we're all doing okay. Life support down to zero. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you you can you can delegate. Totally. Captain, message from Starfleet. It is Admiral Redrick. Ignore that. No, let's let's put on it on screen. screen. Greetings, Admiral. What can we do for you? Jean-Luc, good to see you again. I have a little favor to ask. Would you be interested in finding a little lost lamb for me? Uh... Lamb? Yeah, we're not doing anything else. A lamb? <laughs> a figure of speech. I have a friend stationed on Morassia, an exobiologist. I haven't heard from her in quite a while. I'm getting a little worried. I'd like you to check into it if you can. Molassia, the micronation in uh, the Nevada desert? Oh no, Morassia, sorry. Uh... Morassia? Isn't that some sort of zoological habitat? Oh, it's much more than that, Jean-Luc. The Morassians have created three distinct biotopes, three completely different ecologies in one section of their planet. They call it the Preserve, the latest wonder of the galaxy. Um... D define one sector of the planet, because typically planets like, you know, Earth have many different sort of biomes in the planet. It's only in Star Trek and other science fiction where an entire planet is governed by a single biome. But who exactly is this lost lamb? Oh, is it, is this someone we shouldn't talk about your partner with? No? Okay, good. Who exactly is this lost lamb? Her name is Dr. V. Hunforsch. She was on Barassia cataloging local species for the Federation Zoological Database. 
but no one's seen her for days. Have the local authorities mm. investigated the matter? Yeah. Constable Lixey, who runs the preserve, thinks V went on a field trip and that there's nothing to worry about. To humor me, she said I should send a team to investigate. I see. Admiral, do you have any reason to suspect foul play? No. Yeah. Uh, the truth? V is headstrong, but she might be chasing butterflies. But I think there's more to it than that. Mm. And Jean-Luc. Marassia is applying for Federation membership. You could review the state of affairs there while you're looking for our exobiologist. Okay. Well... Yeah, let's do it. Very well. As soon as we receive your report, we'll get on the way. Absolutely. I'll transmit it immediately. Thank you. Oh, and Jean-Luc, the Morassians have a strict matriarchal society. Males uh, are usually treated as servants at best. Don't take it personally. Of course. Understood, sir. Good luck. Redrick out. Lay in a course for Marassia, warp five. Yes, sir. Engage. Okay. Oof. 54 light years. Gonna take a while. See what these people have to say about this. Counselor, do you have any thoughts? I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't. Any suggestions, number one? I'm sorry, Captain, I don't have. Mr. Wolf, your analysis. Captain, we should. Wow. No one has any thoughts on anything. Do you have any thoughts, Picard? <coughs> don't need to really talk to Counselor Deneb, because I'm sure they've got. Uh, all sorts of stuff that they're working on. Yeah, I need to remember this little thing here. Let's see, conversation, that's my pausing menu that I can also hit by, or get to by hitting escape. So, actually, yeah, let's Primary Computer. core access enabled. Systems online. Thank you. Hmm. Iridian. Well known as about the Chodak. Great. Ah, the Ferengi. Okay, never mind. I thought we could uh, research more on the um, Morassian culture while we were waiting, but nope. That would make sense. That would be like, you know. Warning. Entering Nebula. Okay. Everything's still good? Seems okay. Entering non-aligned space. Ah. Yep. Helm, standard orbit. And thus we head to Marassia. Captain's log supplemental. The Enterprise has arrived at Marassia to investigate the disappearance of Dr. V. Hunforsch, an exobiologist stationed here for the past two years. The three species native to this world have enjoyed a millennium of peaceful cooperation, and this visit will give us the opportunity to review Marassia's petition for membership in the Federation. That's nice. It's time we introduced ourselves. Mr. Worf, hail Constable Lixie. Aye, Captain. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. We have come to investigate the disappearance of Dr. Honforsch. Oh, interesting. Welcome to Morassia. As I told Admiral Redrick, I really don't think Dr. Honforsch is in any danger. She's probably on an extended field trip. Hmm. 
That always sounds ominous. Good. We'll need your beam down coordinates. I shall transmit them. And Captain, in order to protect the animals in the preserve, we permit no weapons of any kind on the surface. That is a very important thing. Our away teams carry phasers for self-defense only. They can be locked on a low stun setting. I assure you none of your animals will be harmed. I'm sorry, Captain. I won't allow it. We cannot predict how even your lowest setting will affect our animals. Yep. Well, we could just say we are freaking Starfleet and shut up, but this is Star Trek The Next Generation, so we have to abide by everybody. We will respect your laws. The away team will not be armed. Yep. For a male, you are unusually cooperative. Uh, thanks. Is there any better way to begin a relationship? No. I, I think Picard might be uh, having eyes. Forgive me, Captain. I am not accustomed to seeing a male in command. Mm. I will await your investigators. Yep. Okay, so let's head over to the transporter. Let's see, they decided to send... Beam down coordinates selected. Uh, Troy, uh, Crusher, Worf, and Data. Not a bad one, but, you know... We're going to, uh... Pull on somebody else. And we've got tricorder, medical tricorder, and medikit. Okay. That seems to be working just fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should be able to work this out. Hello. I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise. I'm here to look into Dr. Hoon Forsh's disappearance. Welcome to Marasia. As it turns out, I'm conducting a little investigation of my own. I'm curious to know why the Federation allows so many male officers. Doesn't it cause morale problems? Hey. I'd be happy to discuss that later, but right now I'd prefer to talk about the doctor. <laughs> Oh, don't worry yourself about that. Now, seriously, how do you handle discipline without a strong matriarch behind you? I have a feeling I'm not going to get anywhere with this conversation. Doesn't sound like I understand like it. if self-analysis is difficult for you. I meant no harm. Yeah. Uh, Troy, how about you try? I'm Counselor Deanna Troy of the Enterprise. I'm investigating the disappearance of Dr. Hun Forsh. Welcome to Morassia. As I told Admiral Redrick, I really don't think Dr. Hun Forsh is in any danger. She's probably on an extended field trip. You keep saying that. Who saw the doctor last? Who saw the doctor last? Apparently, Consultant Idia was the last to see her. They had dinner or some such. It's all in my report. You should be able to access it through your tricorder. Thank you. Hmm, it's possible. Is it possible the doctor might have injured herself somewhere in the preserve? Yeah. Of course. But our surveillance system can detect signs of distress in any of our inhabitants. And we've had no sign of trouble from the doctor. Well, um, if your surveillance system can detect that, maybe it could detect a location? <sighs> Let's state the obvious, because that's what Diana Troy is best at. You don't like the Doctor very much, do you? She hasn't made many friends here. She disagrees openly with our philosophy, our methods, and has even accused us of smuggling banned species. Is that so? 
Yeah, we'd like to examine. I'd like to examine the preserved grounds where she was last working. We'd prefer to limit the number of outsiders in the preserve while it is under construction. Investigating the doctor's laboratory should be sufficient. It's All important right. that we retrace the doctor's steps exactly. And besides, the Federation has requested an update on Morassia for your membership petition. If you let us into the preserve, we can make a more detailed report. Yeah. The Federation's requests are not law here. Not yet. But True. in the interests of cooperation, I'll open up the area surrounding my outpost. Be sure to stay within the visitors' areas. You must understand my responsibility to the animals comes first. I'd like to see the doctor's quarters. Of course. Her laboratory quarters are at the end of the path towards the mountains. Okay. The constable doesn't seem exactly thrilled that we're here. Nope. But we're going to call this a video, and when we come back, we're going to have to find where this zoologist went. So, when we come back, we'll see you then. Have a good one.